Your Storm Shield forecast, only on Fox 47 News. Well, the sunshine making a triumphant return today, yeah. Justin, and so did some more seasonable temps. Yeah, we really did. Finally made it back to 80 degrees today, Sarah. And 80 is right now the current temperature outside of the Fox 47 studio over Lansing right now. Looking on the southwest and I-496 out there, got some 80 degree temperatures to go around. For some folks this evening, that's the current temp in Lansing as you just saw. 79s for St. John's and Charlotte, 77 degrees for Mason, Jackson and Hillsdale, and it's 78 in Marshall and Coldwater. And another thing again, Humidity way down, dew points in the low 50s across the area, even a 47 in Hastings, 49 Alma. So we're seeing some less humid conditions as well. Very pleasant weather for a nice Thursday night out there across mid Michigan, especially when you got a nice gentle breeze out there anywhere from about 10 to 15 miles per hour. No problems at all. Skies fairly clear out there tonight. We do have some warm air still further west as we've been talking about the last two days here. North Platte, Wichita, both in the 90s. Everywhere seems to be fairly warm, except for this area over South Dakota, where you see temps in the greens. Those are only in the 60s over there, and that's because well, there's some areas of some strong showers and thunderstorms out over the eastern edge of South Dakota. They're heading towards Minnesota state line. Now, while we stay nice and clear over here in mid Michigan, those storms are going to be heading our way. And for that reason, we're going to be placed under a severe weather risk in the enhanced category. These orange areas here on the map. That means that we have a good chance to see some severe weather roll through this area tomorrow. At the very least, we're going to see some strong thunderstorms as this materializes into tomorrow. Now, now the main threats here are going to be 60 mile per hour winds along with these storms as well as frequent cloud to ground lightning and heavy rainfall. We'll walk that through here in future track again tonight. Don't really need to pay too much attention to this as we go through the overnight period. Skies mostly clear conditions very comfortable out there even into tomorrow morning. Lots of sun early in the day, but you'll see the wind again streaming strongly from the southwest. That's going to bring some moisture in ahead of the cloud cover late in the day. That'll help to kick off some very strong thunderstorms. They move through around the dinner hour and especially push through around 9 10 o'clock in the evening. We start to see some of these stronger ones go through. This threat continues through until after midnight and then by the time we hit Saturday morning things start to dry out. But the planner for this evening looks very nice and pleasant. If you got the ability to throw some dogs on the grill out there going to be a real nice one. Temperatures coasting down through the 70s past the sunset. And another comfortable night. Give the air conditioners a break as we fall to around 57 under those clear skies. But tomorrow, that's where we need to keep our eyes to the sky. 87 the high. Some folks maybe even close to 90 tomorrow if we really bring in some of that heat ahead of these storms. And they will fire off late in the day. It's just a matter of whether or not they stay strong or if they end up going severe. So you want to tune in and watch tomorrow. We'll be tracking all of that for you. Once those storms are out of here Friday night, maybe a few raindrops early Saturday. Outside of that, we've got a nice dry stretch coming here, Sarah. Looking like we got temperatures into the upper 80s by early week. Lots of sunshine the next couple days beyond Sunday, culminating in some temperatures in the low 90s by the end of this seven day forecast. As the summer heat, it makes a triumphant return with that sunshine.